Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel, Hazel and Naka Design. This is going to be a quick uh, thrift haul video. And the hashtags that I use are uh, Thrifty Canucks, hosted by Kim Newberg. Thrifty Treasures by uh, Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. And Thrifty Thursday uh, by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. Um, other than these patterns, everything else is books. Books or, uh, well, books. <laughs> books or books. I picked these up because I think they're really cute. They range, <clears throat> they range in age from 1992, 2000, 99, 99, 2000, 92, 90. So basically... They are, what, 24, 25 years old or so. <clears throat> They're in great condition. And they've got these cute illustrations. Now, this has, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody's, um, you know, measurements on there. But these two kids are totally, um, you know, unobstructed, <clears throat> excuse me, for fussy cutting. So it's a combination, it seems, of photographs and illustrations. This pattern includes a doll uh, dress. Well, and so does this one. So really cute. Really cute. Now, I don't know why they felt the need to stamp that baby's forehead, but um, that girl is intact. And then, of course, this one is really cute. So I think I'm going to be bringing these... Um, to the live sale um, when I'm a guest on August 15th. That's Angela, the traveling crafter. Um, so, you know, you might want to tune in for that. And at the risk of becoming a broken record, I do want to say that I, <clears throat> anybody who buys anything from me, I'm invoicing in Canadian dollars and I'm shipping from Canada. So if you are a Canadian creator, you might want to check this out because there might be some stuff available um, where you're not paying, you know, the U.S. exchange rate or shipping from the U.S. Just saying that, you know, obviously no obligation, but it is worthwhile to check into that and see if there's something that you cannot live without. Okie dokie, let's go on. Um, this is in no particular order. This book is called Quilt by Ruth Van H A E F F, <laughs> Handmade Style. Not sure of the date, I'd say it's fairly recent, but I think we've come to. Oh, it's probably at the back on this one. Um, 2006. <clears throat> I think we've come to expect that books that look like this are going to have wonderful illustrations. Typically, oh, I need a ruler. Typically full page illustrations um, that would make great pages. Or could be, well, I can't seem to find a shorter ruler. If only I had more rulers. This one is nine and five eighths by eight and seven eighths. So let's just do a quick looky see. Hmm. So some of uh, what would you call these? Are they? T they're not really templates, but they're they're diagrams of what quilt designs look like. And photography. The pages are not um, glossy. And I hope, like I'm doing this in the evening, and it is still smoky here because of forest fires, but I've turned on a couple of extra lamps. So <clears throat> I'm hoping that there, I don't know if I've <laughs> gotten rid of the shadow from my phone holder or if I've created more but I hope that you can get the gist of what I'm showing you here. 
So let's see. So obviously qu I finished quilts on display. Um, you know, women in action. A full page like this that would make a great... Um, oh, and a good image on the other side. It could definitely make a signature page. <clears throat> Another one of those. It looks like these tend to be back to back, so that's great. You don't have to worry about, <clears throat> excuse me, covering the back. Uh, is this the same? Nope. See, just when I make a declaration, we find something that disproves it. Anyway, you get the idea. Look at that. Denim. It's funny, one of these lamps, well, I guess they're both LED, but why does it seem so, why does it seem so hot in here? Maybe I'm just excited about these books. Okay, I'm probably just going to make a pile on the side here. This is a baby book. Uh, simplicity... Basic layout, play and outerwear, toys and gifts, nice for the nursery. And, uh, you know, after having to do a couple of baby journals back to back, I thought, you know, I should keep my eye peeled for things like this that could be used, you know, regardless, probably of gender. Even pages like this would be cute to use as signature pages. And, of course, the monochromatic illustrations. <laughs> okay, can you imagine getting your, putting your baby on two big, fat, uh, yellow page phone books? Do those things even still exist? I don't think so. And uh, sort of tethering her, him, to the chair. Anyway, so that's the gist of things there. <laughs> that's a little sweetie. You know, pages like this would just be great. And, the, you know, there's a, I don't, did we find a date? Didn't look. 82. <clears throat> so nice that there are quite a few color illustrations. Then, of course, there's something like this. Baby Styles by Beehive. Uh, nostalgic Baby Collection. So this is going... Oh, there's color on the back cover. These little things would make cute little... They're almost like twinchies or something. I wonder if we can find a date here somewhere. Of course not. So this one is black and white. Although there are those that could be cut out, I suppose. Not the greatest illustrations, I must say. Oh, they! <clears throat> I see what they're doing here. They're they're showing outfits sort of month by month. So I guess there'd be twelve of those. The paper is really nice, though. Yeah, it's it's hard to guess what the year might be, but. Oh, well. <clears throat> okay, keep going. Um, this is missing its cover. McCall's Antique Quilts. All these pages or corners are banned. 1974. <laughs> as, as if we couldn't tell by those colors. Very yellowy yellowed pages but the uh, color illustrations definitely or photographs definitely speak to the time and the era so again if you've seen one quilt book you've seen them all right don't want to spend too much time on that um this one is called Erica Wilson's Bride's Book. 
Uh, all the special things to make for, for your engagement, your wedding, and your first year of marriage. Oh, that's a beautiful cover. I never even peeked back at the cover. Um, <laughs> that's really nice. Okay, 1989. So it's got a bit of age to it. Again, how-to illustrations. I mean directions and embroidery stitches. Oh, I'm getting the smell of ink. I wonder if anyone ever opened this book. I mean, ink smell is better than smoke or mildew. <laughs> Even something like that is really nice. Victorian Roses Rug Needlepoint Chart. Oh, that's cool too. Oh, that's cruel. Yeah, so I thought there, you know, between small photographs and charts and diagrams and so on, I thought there'd be quite a bit of uh, fussy cutting possible here. Well, that's cool. A flower, uh, birthday flowers, they're calling it. So March is jonquil. I don't know if that's very exciting for us March babies. But <laughs> I guess in reality, not much is growing in March in some parts of the world. Those are knitted kittens couched in a little basket. <laughs> These little sort of country <clears throat> padded, um, oh, I don't know what they are, ornaments, favors. <laughs> Look at that bride. Look at that dress. That was 1989. Poor deer couldn't get stockings that matched. Can I just ask you a question? <clears throat> and you can tell me in the comments if you don't mind. When was the last time you pulled on a pair of pantyhose? Like, hey, inquiring minds want to know. And did someone have a gun to your head at the time? Um, yeah, I cannot remember. Oh, there are those flowers. Month by month. Whoa, that's pretty fancy. Okay, onward. Um, no, I had never heard of the Bishop Method. And I managed to get two of them. Uh, so I don't know if this one came first because this one says revised. So let's have a look-see. They are, you know, a good five-eighths of an inch in thickness. Eight and a half by 11. Mm. Oh, don't tell me there's no date here either. would possess people not to do that anyway it is you know the typical dressmaking kind of uh, book oh sewn in signatures that's kind of unusual in a soft cover book I would say Okay, we've got the dreaded wrinkled sleeve. So now we know we need to find the solution, which apparently is moving it forward in the armhole. If a low neckline is loose or wide in front, several things can be done to correct it. I bet you were lying awake nights wondering what that was. Some cute illustrations. 
Okay, for those of you who uh, aren't quite sure, that is a woman with an iron and an ironing board. I know that there are some people that would rather die than iron anything, so just wanting to point out a historical fact. Okay, I, can, I can't believe that there isn't a date. Oh, right there, 62. Oh, I would have thought it was later. Okay, so this one, originally 59, but this one is 66. Okay, this one is fashion sewing by the Bishop Method, and this is the Bishop Method of clothing construction. Oh, and there is a wee bit of color here. A very little bit of color. This book also is thicker. Oh, see, that's cool. She'd make a... Oh, did I figure that out that there was color at every chapter heading? Oh, it's the same one. Oh, no. Well, that's good. Are we still tailoring our coat? I can look, I guess, in front and see how many. Well, that's cool. <laughs> see how many chapters there are. I think I probably told you the story about how I started a tailoring course with the district home economist. I have the tailor's ham and all <laughs> and the pressing cloth and all that. Okay, that's chapter six. Tools of the trade. So there are 15 chapters. So some pretty cool images in there and this vintagey looking cover. Okay, four more. This is um, Belle Amour Art to Wear. Now it's magazine. Do we have a date on here? Spring 2003. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is part of, is this part of the Stampington family? Yeah, Stampington and Company. So I think, you know, typically, unless it was different way back when, but typically these this family of magazines <clears throat> has pretty good photography. I mean, there are obviously all these ads at the back. More ads, and then you get into something like that, which would obviously make great collage fodder. Holy clay woven necklace. Wow. Huh. Can you imagine if you had to make every little ring out of clay? How tedious would that be? You can tell I love these colors, as does Teresa. I'm also finding that I'm surprised at the number of people, and Caroline's another one, who keeps saying that purple is their favorite color. So that's great. We could almost form a, a group of some sort. This looks like it's probably painting on silk. That's some sort of beaded stuff. So again, these things are dated. Oh, these are polymer clay again. That's cool. Probably heavy and uncomfortable to wear, but I think sometimes we just keep things on a on a display thing and never really use them, <clears throat> but just admire them from afar. Okay, what is this? Oh, a drawstring purse. Look at all the silk ribbon embroidery on that one. Well, Victorian era, so that wouldn't be a surprise. Button jewelry. 
stamping silk. Well, that's cool. How about... If you, have you ever painted your Doc Martin boots? Hmm? 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 Have you? Have you? You can tell me in the comments. Big chunky jewelry. Found art jewelry. Again, that would be so heavy. Looks like something that we might find kicking around here at the farm. Inkjet printing on fabric. And then these are little beaded, beaded guardians. They made her boobs out of two uh, beads. Okay. That's cool. I have so many little purses. Polymer clay purses. Of course, mine aren't clay. <laughs> Ubiquitous denim. So there's that. You know, and because, okay, does we... Well, so tw 21 years ago, this cost $9. So the prices have been high forever and a day. Same company, Stampington and Company. This is Hot uh, Handbags. Handmade purses, clutched, clutches, and altered bags. Uh, what year? 2017. So quite a bit newer. And thicker. And <clears throat> by this time in Canada, $17. Again, these are great little images to fussy cut and use. What's in your bag? I love stories like this. You see this quite often in women's magazines where they ask some celebrity or some somebody to sort of spill their purse and explain what they've got there. It's the voyeur in me that wants to know. Okay. So this will all be handbags. Bon voyage travel bag. Tea towel sling bag. Taupe tapestry bag. Gray linen handbag. Oh, tea time. Don't we have the doilies and the beaded trim to do that? Vintage wedding clutch. Roses forever. Lots of dots. Whoops. Oh, darn. I wonder if those are French knots that they fabric. Sweater. No, I guess they probably took a sweater. Oh, yeah, because there are buttons and everything. That's a cool thing. Take a thrifted sweater or a sweater out of your own closet and turn it into a handbag. Shibori dyed handbags. <laughs> Lunatic fringe. Yeah. Beadwork on that one. Antique textile goodness. Okay, remnants and scraps assorted. Looks like there's some ticking there. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Pardon me for saying so, but it is. That's not much better. In my opinion. Hungarian embroidered purse. Hey, I recognize those flowers. I didn't know that was Hungarian work. I bought some linens that like that. Oh, this is cool. I wonder if that's felted wool. Forest tapestry. Uh, I don't really say, but <clears throat> that would be my guess. I mean, I don't want to start reading the whole thing. <coughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> these are cool. So, oh, and that's applique. That looks like stained glass. Is that painting? The problem here is that sometimes they don't, um, I didn't know that there was a band called Sister Hazel who wrote a magical, colorful story about a beach, a strawberry beach. Hmm. Maybe it sounds like that might be an illustration from the book that she was illustrating. Oh, well, that's a nice soft look to that one. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Two in one crossbody. Little black dress. That's kind of cool. Indigo blues. <clears throat> so it just looks like some crazy stitching. A doily. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looks like a doily affixed to maybe leather, leather, lace, and keys. Oh, well, that's nice. Okay, I don't, I shouldn't be lingering over each one. Burlap. Huh. I think a lot of us have burlap. Look at the butterflies. See, I didn't flip through this at all. It's a, it's like when you know what you've come across you and the price is right, you know that you're not going to be sorry. So you just grab it and keep moving. No way is a person going to take the time to linger and flip through it because that would be foolish when there's more shopping to be done. Cloth petals. Fabric and acrylic paint. Hmm. Now here they've added jewelry. Miniature charmed bags. Well, they are pretty tiny. But those are kind of cool. And you can see how, um, you know, the advice to, say, to writers, and I guess any creative is expose yourself to a variety of things. Read out, read and explore outside the genre that you're working in. So, because there are ideas everywhere, and you might see something that think that you think, ah, and then those synapses in our brain start firing left and right. And we think, oh, I've got it. I know what to do. I know what to try. Okay. Two, now I'll show you this one. What are the odds of finding two Vogue uh, sewing books, like virtually back to back? This, it says the new Vogue sewing book. So, and this color is bright gold. I don't know. That 1980. I don't think this is identical to the one I showed you in a recent haul because I think I would have remembered these, you know, plummy, um, illustrations or dusty rose or whatever you want to call that. So again, mint condition, photography, <clears throat> illustrations so you know those could all become journaling cards in a fashion or sewing <coughs> excuse me journal wow hey did you know that or how would you know <laughs> i wore a purple gown to my high school graduation I guess the seeds were sown years ago. I I never I never even remembered that till I saw that girl in that gown. Okay, this is a book that I have bought several times. 
the first time I bought it, I bought it because I was doing, you know, home decor stuff. <clears throat> I mean, I was, we were, like, we've always, we've renovated, we've updated our home, you know, ever since, like, as long as we've had houses. And, um, so I have a lot of interior design books. I had subscriptions for years to design magazines. And I loved this book when I first saw it. Probably, you know, well, it's orange and it's got that gold on it. Wasn't cheap. It was 35 bucks in the U.S. Of course, I... The first copy I bought was pretty shabby, and I think I might have even started to alter it. But again, it's got that style of photography that we have come to uh, love and appreciate. So this is 2011. So, <clears throat> excuse me, again, it's a combination of mm, kind of maybe minimalist photography Does, now I saw something there about Jonathan Adler so I don't know if he wrote the foreword or what the deal was I guess so oh again I can smell the ink so you know pages like that flower workshop so essentially open frames some of those things almost look like yo-yos. I think they're just ribbon, though. Some basic floral design. Floral arranging, I mean. One of these days, I'm going to have to search for my before and after. Um, we love few things more than rescuing a piece of furniture <clears throat> bound for the trash and giving it new life. When you paint something, whether you paint something, add new hardware, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, I started to say that, so it's, it's kind of about upcycling as well. Who doesn't want a little lounging area built on pallets or on a tree stump? Which reminds me, when we had to cut down a couple of trees, I, of course, saved the stumps and just left them a wee bit sheltered, but in the, you know, outside, so that the bark would come off by itself and so on. I should really check up on them. It's been years <laughs> and see if they're ready to, to do something with. Sometimes you just have to let Mother Nature do the work. Um, <clears throat> anyway, one of these days I should dig out my I used to have a subscription to a floral, a la -de da floral design uh, publication. So that would be like stepping back in time. Look at these cute little uh, terrarium plants to fussy cut. So there are ideas of all kinds. Acorn bird feeder. <coughs> DIY jewelry bust, silverware, shower, or curtain hooks, floor pillows, stamped fabric curtains, oh, wooden wax seal, what the heck is that? Wooden dowel, a wood burning tip, oh, so you get a dowel, cut it into slices, I guess, or, well, leave a little handle to work with, and then burn a design into it that becomes a stamp seal. So yeah, this is, and look at that. Cool. So yeah, this is a great book. Why else would I have three copies? <laughs> I'll have to look at the others and see. Which one is the best? I believe I did start altering one or um, brick bookends. Recycled cake plates. Wine crate display.
this uh, highlights of vintage. <laughs> well, this is actually showing, so I guess that's a woman from California. <clears throat> And some of the rooms, I guess, that these different people have done. Isn't this like our died and gone to heaven type of place? But again, you know, if a person <clears throat> were to cut this book up, um, these sorts of, those si sizes of images are pretty well perfect for I like the way those portraits are all just sort of leaning, very informally hung or displayed. I mean, um, yeah, so again, eye candy. I love that look of painted brick. I also love stacked stone, though, so what, what am I going to say? Oh, that's a... Oh, Michael Penny. He's a designer in Toronto and has a store of some sort. Regular guest on some of the design shows. I remember when we first got a satellite dish. This is a long time ago. <clears throat> My son was still in high school. There's quite an age spread between the two kids. Anyway, they chipped in. I may have told this story before. They chipped in and bought us a satellite dish for $99. And, you know, like mama didn't raise no fool. Fools, they, of course, did the cheap part. <laughs> it's the monthly thing that we have been paying ever since that, you know, can impoverish a household. But... I remember being exposed to satellite TV. OMG. I lived for HGTV and TLC, no, DIY, anything that had a design show on it. I was there, baby. Yeah. And then once we did our, our house extension and, you know, thought, okay happy with the way the house is now uh, this is probably going to be the last iteration before we drop dead um, <clears throat> you know I can spend my time elsewhere now but I still like looking at these things when I when I take the time to do it anyway let me stop and let you go <laughs> um, I hope that you have enjoyed the flip throughs. Oh, that's a cool wall. A vintage industrial metal sliding door. See that just, you know, would I have that in my house? Mm, maybe. Antique barn and factory doors can be found on eBay or in salvage shops. But I love the patina. I love the idea that it had a previous life. We had old doors that had been sitting in a granary. I think they were bought at an auction for something like $2 each. And then when it was time to, you know, do the addition, I thought, okay, I want barn doors <clears throat> in the master bedroom, like to the walk-in closet and then to the bathroom. So... Uh, and of course, it makes sense in a in a way to do barn doors because or sliding uh, sliding barn door because you don't need that swing space. So um, I stripped and refinished those doors, and I love them every time I see them. Anyway, guys, enough reminiscing down. Um, back roads <laughs> and uh, I hope that you have enjoyed some of the things that I've shown you today and please do answer the question about pantyhose because I'm dying to know and if these Daisy Kingdom um, 
patterns appeal to you, I will bring them to that live sale on the 15th. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this video airs before the 15th of August. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I very much appreciate the likes, the comments, and getting to know you as um, people versus, you know, versus just numbers and people with personalities and, and likes and dislikes. And anyway, it's all about the relationships. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.